Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Driving on the PCH. Just dropped the bird off at school. It's trippy, man. I've been, uh, it's funny how like a bunch of things come together in one puff. So I, so that, this is how weird it all is. So, uh, that Lana Del Rey song is like entered our playlist, the California song, because Owl likes it. And, um, it's interesting because it's a very haunting song. There's something very haunting about it. I, I, I've grown to really like it. And at the same time, I just watched that three part Bill Gates documentary. And I'm driving up the coast, and then you had that that goofy girl the other day, like the angry girl screaming at the UN about the environment. And I was I was tripping like in the haunting tone of it, like sort of a melancholy thing cruising down about just you know how trippy life is and how close it is from like real happiness and real like harmony and that at the same moment it's just really far away because so I'm watching the I'm thinking about the Bill Gates whatever your opinion about Bill Gates is I, this isn't what that's about but I was tripping that his whole life basically just got reduced down into like three and a half hours of a Netflix documentary and like and that dude's like like gnarly right and it's just like I always trip on those things because you know that guy's been in the back peripheral of the background of life my entire like adult life pretty much in one way or another and then you're, you're just at the other side of it all and you're like wow like it just compresses it all and then you think and so I'm thinking about like what he's up to like his I thought his stuff with the nuclear engines was pretty interesting and the toilet deal and for real on the, the bathroom situation it's all about clean water and fecal matter for sure and um, and then I'm thinking about that crazy kid at the at the UN like the angry one the angry mad one and I'm like I was thinking about like she's not totally off with what she's saying like in a nutshell but how it's and then I'm thinking about my own take on like like happy moments of life of true harmony and and I was thinking about sitting in like you know an old growth forest or on the the side of the mountain in Big Sur or you know walking up some Mount McLaughlin in, in Southern Oregon or being out in, the, in, a, in, a, in a desert wilderness. And I was just thinking how like the melancholy comes from like, we've really as a world culture at the same time done more to the yellow bulldozers, man. Just the yellow bulldozers are on the move. That's where, like, I kind of, like, you can get all into the globalist agenda and all that stuff, which is by design. That's why they've got that that girl up there screaming and hemming and hawing. And actually, the real positive stuff isn't nothing's happening. Like, I, I'm not, I'm all about intact ecosystems. And there seems to be, like, this we've forgotten about that or the new propaganda swayed everybody into this other mode of thinking and the yellow bulldozers are taking advantage of it. Like you just think about how it's all gotten so knee jerk reaction. You think of, I just think about how fragile the ecosystems are and I mean that like and I'm not in part of the globalist agenda thing at all because that's I think that's why they hijack the environmental movement because you I, I don't see how you can be a rational human being and not be like we needed to keep this 
earth life support machine working in harmony. I, I, the animals and the creatures and the microflora and, and, and the worms and the, the phytoplankton, they're super important on just a selfish level. Forget about the whole like deeper esoteric level of it all of like the, the symbiotic harmony of, of the spiritual nature and how so I, I just start thinking about this and I'm driving down the thing and I'm watching the dolphins and you know I'm thinking about like what like all this stuff you know like is history true and What's up? Why is what? Why are we being denied the technology as humanity? Because the technology is here. There, there is no excuse. There really isn't any excuse at this stage of the game why there is still lack of fecal contain, containment and why we're still on this extraction based economy of, of petrol petroleum products like that's asinine I like I look around like it's it's asinine that that we're in the state we are because these are problems like and this is where I click in with what that the little girl was saying at the UN you you know that that's all some psyop it, and it, it's pretty much child abuse and all that kind of stuff but what she's like a part of what she's saying is true We've had the answers now for a long time and we are literally pissing them away. There, there, is, there is no reason we, we shouldn't be driving, even if you wanna go on the, the petroleum-based reality, there's no reason we can't be driving cars that get 100 miles to the gallon or, or even more. That, that's, in, that's ridiculous. There's no reason that there should be like plastics everywhere and we're not. But then I, I get down to the whole thing and I think about how hard it is to just like keep your family in tune, man. I just look at the last year of my life and just like, yeah, like it's really hard to worry about the middle of the ocean when like the middle of your dinner table is like in madness and you think about your own just predispositions to, to be plus or minus, positive or negative, and it's very overwhelming, and I get why people tune out, man, and they're just like, whatever, dude, like, whatever, and I think that's by design. I really do think that that they've, they've deliberately, like, made... I, I th That's why I don't get why people are allowing them to take us hostage with this politically correct culture and this this cancel culture and all these things as 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 they're still cutting down the ancient forest like what like you there's no rationale for destroying the rainforest there, there really isn't that like but it's all to go for your iphones and 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 poorly designed energy grids and and poorly managed food resources. So it, it becomes this thing. And so I'm thinking about like Bill Gates, like you kind of watch that Netflix thing and you're like, is he a good dude or a bad dude? Like, I don't know, man. Like uh, that dude's trying to make a better toilet. Like when he starts talking about how there's been no advancements in toilet technology, I've been hemming and hawing about fecal matter contamination for most of my life of like, yeah, because that's where I get into the, like, it's all about the water supply. Because if you truly honored the gift of clean drinking water, you would never allow anyone to poop in it anywhere whether it be corporation or individual and so like you look at it on that level like yeah there is no excuse but I'm watching the deterioration of, of my own the city I live in like it's hard for me to even acknowledge like Los Angeles is my city but yeah what there's 10,000 homeless people in downtown LA like pooping in the streets like that's where like I that's not I I as much as I'm not into the federal government like 
That's what the federal government needs to come in and do exactly what they're saying and say and and get into it about the water. This is a full violation of of the Clean Water Act. If that's what they got to do to shut down this like pooping, like it's it's not civilized. That's where I'm not grasping what's going on in the in this weird. And then I go, it's by design. It's totally by design. This whole weird thing that's going on because no rational people would allow us to go backwards like people think that like you even get to it in in the documentary about the Bill Gates is like he even talks they even talk about like yeah as much as they're getting the vaccine out for polio it's it the polio is really caused by ah sorry dude just a second it's really caused by filthy fecal contamination and most of the diseases are caused by that so I like that's like part of me is like yeah you want to vaccinate stuff how about we just keep the fecal matter contained in a fully healthy modern way and that's where I get the melancholy and I'm listening to the song and I'm just like like I'm not I'm just your average guy and I can see the solutions to a lot of these problems and it makes me feel it makes me feel sad that humanity's just settled for like third place. Like we've really just settled for like let the powerlessness and and this whole thing and, and I got it, they filled us all with so many like internal problems. Like our and I was so I was thinking about the happiness thing because I was you know I was thinking about owl and I'm like all I wanted him all all you really want for your child is for them to be happy and I'm like well what's happiness and I was thinking about my own happiness and I go the happiest I've ever been is like out in the middle of the ocean or in some old growth forest all my happiest moments have had something to be have something to do with nature and the birth of my son the one of the most natural things ever and so love totally a natural thing and and I think about like the environments that make me happy and they're all like natural and I get why they're the yellow bulldozers are on the move because the further we move away from a natural world and I know that the technology and cities are part of that natural world but the fact the way we're doing everything just as a guy this is where I bump into my like leftiness like there is no excuse and this is why the, the left to those of you who are still in there You've been hijacked. And if you're not aware that this social justice warrior, weird, progressive agenda is to hijack the planet and turn it into a landfill, you're delusional, man. These people have an agenda. These communist people and these socialist people, they aren't about like fixing any of the problems. They're just creating more because it all could have happened at Standing Rock. At Standing Rock was like the, the, I think like a pinnacle moment of the failure of, of everybody in their agendas. Like we should have gone in there and stopped the, and saved the water. Like for no other reason than a symbolically, like save the water, gotten with the original people and come together, come together. Yeah, I don't know, man. So yeah, I'm driving up the thing and I'm thinking about it all and I'm just like, there's that weird thing where I go, everyone's just settled for like this thing. And then you go like, well, I I definitely don't want to be that angry kid at the UN. That chick is so bitter and angry. Like that's not going to solve the problem. I just look at that and be like, I'm with everybody. I'm with that as like, who's torturing this child with this like doom and gloom scenario because I've been there I've done that like it was all supposed to be done a bunch of times in my lifetime and that's not the case but you get into the harmony thing you get into with this spiritual journey and the and the places where you feel the energetically the best it's in nature man 
It's in nature and that and being in nature with people you love. Yeah, and that, that's what it's all about. And we're the yellow bulldozers are on the move. And it bums me out. Like I gotta admit, like, like I kind of put my blinders on because I don't want to be that angry person. I used to be so angry about what was going on with the bulldozers and the chainsaws and the destruction of the, the wilderness areas and all this stuff. I had to stop, man. I had to stop and like get myself back on the other side of this deal. Because if you're angry, you're in their matrix. You are the yellow bulldozer. And I can get angry about it, but I was watching that, I was watching that girl angry, that weird picture where there's her and Trump. Uh, my, I, I gotta figure out my mount does not work anymore, it sucks. I gotta, uh, oh, we're just gonna, I'm gonna move the camera to finish up this thought. Here, wait, hold on. So, it's gonna be bouncy. So, I was thinking about, so there's that picture of the angry girl in the background and Trump. And I'm like, there you go. Your anger is going to keep you from talking to that dude, the leader of the free world. Good, good, bad, and different. That's the dude you want to talk to. If you want to save the planet. So shame on you, young girl, for not going and talking to the person you view as the villain. Because if you truly want to solve the problem, we got to go talk to the people we disagree with most. This oppositional reaction thing is is always been counterproductive. And that's always what the yellow bulldozers have been been dependent upon. Is is get these people to like argue amongst themselves while they're busy doing what they do, man. These corporations, they are evil. And but and we have the tools. That's why they're trying to de-arm us. That's why they're trying to take away the, the First Amendment and the Fourth and all these amendments and, and and get us, man. You know, I don't know, man. It's a very complex world we are we're living in. So yeah. I'm super hopeful. I think that's part of where my like melancholiness comes, where these like I get these moments of like the fleetingness of like life and and the whole thing is like I'm not on the doom and gloom train. No way. Because if I go on the doom and gloom train, then you're just angry and depressed and sad and, and that's the energy that's caused this doom and gloom train. You know what I mean? Like it's a self fulfilling reality. So if you want to change the world, you better start changing it from within. You better start paying attention to yourself and figuring out where your where your heart lies. Because if you're going to go get angry, dude, look in the mirror. The first person that you need to get angry at is yourself for being angry. You know what I mean? Because there's because because what do you? How's that going to solve any problems? And there's nothing wrong with like being like fired up, dude, and getting in there and battling these people, like. I'll go in and, and battle all day long, but, but what are we battling at this point? Like, what are we battling? The dude driving the yellow bulldozer, the people making the yellow bulldozers, or us who's, who's using the products created by the yellow bulldozer and the yellow bulldozer driver and the corporation. We're the, we're the ones buying the plastics. We're the ones getting angry and not and blaming them when it's really like our own journey so yeah I was looking at the angry girl and then I was thinking about like Bill Gates trying to make sure we don't like poop in the drinking water anymore like there's the answer there is that is the answer like let's first thing we need to probably solve on this planet is containing the poop and, but like I live in a, a modern city and they're pooping in the streets right now. And that's the SJW progressive agenda. That's horrifying for me. I'm horrified that that, that I actually have got to go lump myself in with the, I don't, I'm not a righty on any like level. That like, that I'm hoping that, that, 
some lunatic game show host is going to be is going to come in and bring the hammer down and that dude's a decoy and I'll say it to the end of the end like that dude is controller of the executive branch that dude can end all this stuff with by, like that's what his job is De- defend and uphold the constitution and it's all written in the constitution but you know I don't know if we're going to allow people to poop in the street then then we're not a civilized society anymore we we have devolved and that's pretty pathetic i think it's pretty pathetic and that's that that'll get me like if i really dig down in that that trench a little bit like yeah how 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 are we gonna save the ancient forests if if we can't even prevent ourselves from pooping in the streets and getting ourselves sick (laughs) <laughs> what? Like, I don't know, dude. Anyway, it's all just a shit show, literally. <laughs> hey, this is The Illusion. There's uh, links down below, man. You know, on a final note, that's why I haven't been making as many videos. I've been just off in Legoville, dude, just building Legos. You know why? It's quiet over there. It's a super quiet channel. So, I'd be stoked if you subscribed. We can get noisy over there, but about Lego. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a building zone. Because we got to start thinking about building, man. We got we to gotta, we gotta build stuff and use our imaginations and get back to creation, man. We got to get back with God and the whole thing. Anyway... I was driving.